okay so this is the new Yuffie cam that I ordered mm. the reason I ordered this one is because it's got automatic charging using a solar panel the previous one that I had a Yuffie cam E it had a built-in battery but it needed to be charged so I need to get up on a ladder remove the camera and charge the battery and then reinstall it and it was advertised as not needing to you know 365 days of charge but it rarely ever held a 365 day charge uh, from my normal usage of the camera I think it barely lasted for about four months the charge so every four months or three months I had to get up on a ladder recharge it so that's the reason why I ordered this new version of the camera it's actually a different camera it's a solo cam or oh, it's a I think it's called a solo cam s340 and it's actually got two cameras it's also got inbuilt charging it just needs it's advertised to have to just need two hours of sunlight and uh, the solar panel attaches to the camera and uh, basically it's self uh, you know self-regulated you know, I don't have to get up and recharge it and all of that so also there are other features like it's actually got two cameras and uh, it it also has motion tracking so it can track someone moving around uh, so that's the reason why I ordered this one plus it's got some other better it's got a better resolution 3k and uh, it's got a pan and tilt 360 degree so although I'll only, only probably be using a 180 degree pan and tilt and uh, what else it's got color night vision which is good the other one just had uh, I think infrared this got actually got color night vision and it's got AI detection and tracking so I'm just gonna open it up uh, and then basically So these are all the features of the camera uh, it's got some built-in local storage but uh, one of the disadvantages is it's not compatible with the earlier home base so it's got a new home base which is a home base 3 which has to be ordered separately uh, in my opinion that's a real bummer because um, you know I had to buy I spend another hundred and twenty dollars on the home base Plus the home base itself only has 16 GB of storage, which is not enough. So you then have to expand the home base itself with an external, with an internal hard drive, a 2.5 uh, 5 volt hard drive, um, which uh, costed me another hundred dollars or so for a two terabyte hard drive. So just to use this properly, that's one of the disadvantages. Uh, but I went ahead and bit the bullet and got the other home base and I still use my older home base with the other two previous Eufy Cam E cameras I think it's the home base the first version so what are the features uh, it's got a telephoto lens it's got a three, uh, 2k telephoto 3k wide angle lens with 135 degree field of view uh large aperture okay so then it stays charged forever power with the uh, removable solar panel two hours of daily sun okay wire free see color at night it's got a local storage but you're gonna probably land up using the home base storage and then you can also recognize certain subjects so what's in the box the solar cam removable solar panel solar panel mount camera mount USB-C cable 10 feet this is if, in case the solar panel is situated uh, far far away from the camera itself it's got the screw pack and a quick star guide what's not shown here is it also has a USB charging cable a smaller one and of course the solar panel comes with its own uh, USB-C cable so that's pretty much it uh, yeah so it just says no monthly fee
because you have your own local storage of the video so let's go ahead and open this up Okay, so that's what it looks like when you open it up. Uh, that's the solar panel. Keep this aside. That's the camera itself. So that's the camera. It's a seems like a well built camera. A uh, little a little heavy, not too heavy, but it seems well built. Those are the two camera lenses. This is the back. Um, this is where the bracket mount. It mounts on the bracket. There's a sync button. This uh, make it sync wirelessly with the home base or the router. Um, so that's the camera and this uh, this is protected by this uh, rubber thingy with where this is where the solar panel connects or the charger connects so initially when you first before you first use the camera you have to charge it for about eight hours and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, so basically the bracket looks like this. This is the camera bracket. It's got three mounting holes. This is the solar panel mount bracket. You can mount it on top of the camera or you can mount it separately. These are the screws and the anchors. There's two sets, I think. Uh, this is the quick start manual. This is the charging cable which by which you can just initially charge this camera for eight hours or so and this is the extended long cable in case your solar panel is uh, far away uh, from the camera